Princess Casserole here. Um, it doesn't look like I have any viewers yet, but I just wanted to pop on and do something really quick. itself. One sec. Okay, can you guys hear me now? <laughs> so you can hear me then, right? I think she said PK. Okay. Yes. Good. Okay. So I wanted to come on. I'm going to make you guys sick for a second um, because we have a blizzard warning here in Buffalo. So it is like really nasty out there. So I don't know if you guys can probably not see very well, but there's like a whole bunch of snow and it's awful. It's awful out there. Sorry about that. I know it probably made you sick, um, but it is gross and there's nothing but wind howling out there. And so I can't drive anywhere. So I figured I would hop online and do something. So I got a box that I won from eBay. I got two of them actually, and I can't remember which one's which. So one of them I got for $12.99 and one of them I got for... Thirteen fifty with with shipping, so it was not was not a lot. So I think I'm gonna open this one. Um, I hope there's something good in here. It it was just like random and it was cheap. Oh, are you rain? Yeah, we're not lucky enough to have rain. Hey, city thrift, Pittsburgh. Yeah, we were actually in Pittsburgh not too long ago. We I love it there. I love Pittsburgh a lot. It's actually like if I was going to move, I would move to Pittsburgh just because it's similar to, to Buffalo in size. And yet it is a little bit warmer there because it is really cold here today. I don't know what the weather is like there. I know everywhere in the Northeast is pretty cold. Is it snowing in Pittsburgh right now? All right. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, I love it there. I trained there for a little while, and we stayed at a friend's house, and it was up on Mount Washington. It was so beautiful. All right. So, again, this was really cheap, so I don't know what's in here. So we'll see. Yeah, it's freezing here. This is not not bad. It's not um, anything expensive or anything, but it's just a stretchy turquoise colored um, bracelet. Yeah, Swiss Veil. I don't think I've heard of Swiss Veil. We loved it. We went we went to Pittsburgh. We went to go see um, Falling Water. It was really nice there. So this one's packaged pretty nicely with all the tissue paper. Sometimes you get them and they're like not packaged very well, so you kind of never know. All right. And again, obviously this one is plastic and it's fake. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was lovely there. We stopped um, somewhere 
after and ate and it was a fun trip because we went to Kentuck Knob as well, which is another Frank Lloyd Wright house. Oh, 50 minutes from Mount Washington. Yeah, it was gorgeous there. We could see the three rivers and the, the Pittsburgh Stadium there. <laughs> yeah, we did see the red pandas too. So this is a plastic turquoise necklace. It's actually, it's not terrible. These are kind of pretty colors. Um, so it's not bad. And I got a new a new webcam, so hopefully all of this stuff is coming through a little better than it was before. Well, this is nice. So this has a little safety chain. And it's a bingo bracelet. Let me check to see if there's any markings. It's got the one where um, it's got the ball up at the top. Hey, Carol. I haven't been to the casino. We actually, we could see it from where we were because where we were staying was like right where the three rivers meet. And it was like right where the fountain was. So we could see the Andy Warhol Museum and I think Marilyn Manson was playing. <laughs> we could hear it where we were staying. Um, let's see. I don't see any markings on this one. Yeah, I'm smelling it because I, <laughs> Bonnie and I have talked about this. You can kind of smell silver sometimes when it's tarnished, like what it smells like. And this one kind of does have that smell and there is some tarnish on it. And it looks like there's some marcasites on here too. Let's see. He wants to, wants to, there we go. That one looks nice. Hopefully you guys can see it there and what it looks like. It's not broken at all. It goes right in. This is a really nice bracelet. Yeah, we're, so we're in Buffalo, so it's kind of nice because, you know, Rust Belt cities. They're all kind of similar. Everybody is, you know, really nice in all of them. So I think we're going to go to Cleveland next. Um, yeah, I thought that one was nice. Again, uh, so Carol, I don't know. You came in a little later. I can't remember if this was like $14 or $12 on eBay. So I just went and I wanted to see what I can find. This one kind of... No, no cat pins, Jim. Um, just a, a horn. This kind of looks pewter or <laughs> like lead, honestly. There's no markings on it. I do, I have found fishing things in my jewelry bags, but I, I ended up giving them to my brother. Uh, and then I got a there's a C pin. I don't know what else that one might be. Oh, it, this one looks maybe sciency. Um, like it's got a. I can't think of what the word is. A flask. Yeah, Italian horn is huge. I get a lot of those. And then there was this little little parrot. I think it was missing. Oh, there we go. It's like you got to get them right in front to get them to focus. Be very still. Um, so this one's missing. One one little diamond there, and some enamel. But I can repaint some of the enamel on him. I think I have some testers glue up or testers paint upstairs to paint some of that. So maybe I can make him a little wearable. And then here are some 80s earrings. I always end up looking like eyeballs. 
I know I love I love vintage um, brooches. They're really cute. My husband only likes them if they're like donkeys or cats. He does like the donkeys too. Um, and then there are these earrings. I don't see any marks on them. But they're pretty. They're hoops. And there's a pair of them. They have some like uh, cubic zirconias or diamonds or something. Um, online. And you know, sometimes they're really expensive. Rhinestones are really expensive. Um, so if I really like something, I'll go and specifically get a rhinestone. Otherwise, I'll try to take both of them out. And if I have like extras that have fallen off, I'll use those. And then I'm trying to look to see if I can find any markings. These kind of look, they look like silver to me too. I don't know. <laughs> see? Eyeballs again. These are nice. And I, I use the hypo cement, but I, I get the rhinestones online because nobody sells it anymore. Oh, hey, speaking of rhinestones, here's the rhinestone that fell off. So that one I can just glue back on myself. Nice. And I use the hypo cement to glue it. And that you can get from Joann's. This is just a little bar pin. It's pretty simple. It's uh, marked swank on the back. I don't know how to make people moderators on here. I can figure that out. I don't think I don't think Carol and Bonnie are gonna say anything rude or mean or anything like that, but I should probably figure that out. Um looks like so this is a key and it's a brooch. I've never quite seen anything like that. It looks like there's markings on the back, so I wanted to open it and see. Yeah, you're not gonna be rude, are you, Bonnie? <laughs> I doubt it. It looks like there were some that are Mexico. I think it says Mexico. It's probably Mexican silver on this one. Not to me, anyway. <laughs> Just kidding, buddy. We're friends. This actually was a pretty good lot. Um, and then there was this one. I don't think there's any uh, any marks on. It just says Korea. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. It's freezing here in Buffalo, so I came, came on live to warm up a little bit. That's pretty. And it's pretty pretty hefty um so like the enamel close in a style for bonnie i try not to call anything like this close in a because it's like the 80s the 80s enamel right you just call it enamel and uh like a metal and enamel right bonnie because it's not like the true close in a but it's really pretty I'm close to Niagara Falls. I'm in Buffalo, but um, yeah, you can see how cold, cold it is because they're showing you how the falls is almost frozen over right now. So, although Monica still wins, it's still colder where she is, but I bet she doesn't have a blizzard. It looks like it's gotten a little better out there, though. But all I can hear is the swirling wind right here, right now. Can't figure out how this necklace is put together. It looks like it might be stuck on itself. 
That's so funny because I think this was kind of like one of the things that they featured in the slot, and it was definitely not not the real <laughs> star of this of this show because this is all plastic beads. So it's just kind of funny. So I think somebody who sold this probably didn't know a lot about jewelry. All right, so she says the real cloisonne has the outline raised on the surface. That makes sense. So that you could kind of like feel it because the real cloisonne is all like actual metal, right? All these pieces would be just little tiny pieces of metal to put it in. It's really neat though. I like the 80s cloisonne too. Just don't spend a lot of money on it. Because it's not worth a lot. Even the real stuff doesn't seem to be worth a ton. So I think this one was really, really nice. I don't know if, Lisa, you missed it. This one is one of my favorite. Yeah, the wire, wire is put on by hand, which is really cool on real clothes and A. So I, I don't see any marcasites missing. Oh, there's one. But yeah, just one that I can see, one marcasite missing. This is really pretty. This is definitely worth it. And then I think this is Mexican, so it could be alpaca. It might not be real silver. Mm, doesn't really smell like real silver. And I'm wondering about these these ones. I'm gonna really have to check these for a mark because they look very nice. And I don't have my loop with me right now, so your eyes get not not very great the older you get, and it happens quick. I don't see any marks on any of these. There's a little bit of tarnish here, so this I'm wondering what that one might be. But they're really pretty. I don't think that you guys got a great view of this one. For some reason, it doesn't. <laughs> My uh, camera doesn't seem to like these ones. Um, so not too bad. I'd say that this is worth it. And again, this is kind of cute, too. I know they're not worth a lot. They're just totally plastic. Um, but they're cool. And I have so many of these little <laughs> Italian horns. Um, should I open up the other one? I was training. I did train there a long time ago when I was first working. So I think this one was the nicer of the lots. And the other one is, is less nice. But hey, we'll go for it. I think that Art Deco one that I found was the best so far. Hope you guys all had a nice new year. We were, um, somebody said to me today um, that they thought people were enjoying the Bills making it to the playoffs more than New Year's this year. And I totally agree. So I live in Buffalo. We're pretty, pretty excited about that. Yeah, that, and the color is really pretty, I think. So that's always nice with like a plain white or black. <laughs> I haven't lost my husband yet. He's still here. Oh, cute. So this one, you open it and they put a little leaf sticker in their packaging. That's cute. I always like those little, little touches. This is nice. So there's a little stub on here, so I'll know exactly how which one this one was. So this one was $13.50. And they put a little gift in here. I think that's like a little 50 cent piece. I don't sell my jewelry yet. Um, my husband's going to help me. He's going to force me to do it soon. I will be selling on Etsy when I do because most of it. <laughs> so 
sorry. <laughs> I just got about a vertigo. I know, I'm sorry. Um, I will be selling on Etsy when I do, because most of it is vintage that I like. So that's a cute little touch. They give you a little 50 cent piece in there. That's a first for me. This person's really into their cute packaging too. It's in a little wrapped thing. <laughs> How cute for them to put so much effort in the little, a little sale too. So it was all wrapped up in this. Oh, am I not? <laughs> I hope I'm not shaking the camera again. I got a little excited about the bills, I guess. <laughs> Don't want to make you guys sick. That's not my intention, I swear. I think it would probably be weird if it was. Uh, so these are marked on the back. Uh, you probably can't see it very well. Sorry. But they're a little can of teal or filigree. Oh, see, now it's wanting to focus. And they are the screw back earrings. And they're Mark Sterling. Those are, and they're so tiny. They're really cute. That's nice. Yeah, I, I like fashion jewelry. So let's see. It looks like this says CH or something. MO. Is that a thing? And then I think it's got the size on it. So it's just a little silver ring. It's very small, but my fingers are really big. So let's see if it'll fit. It's too big for my pinky, so at least there's that. Yeah, I just wanted to, I had some money in my PayPal that I couldn't seem to transfer to my bank account, so I just said, you know what, I'm going to see if I can find some good good deals on eBay. And uh, these are some of the things I bought. So these are marked silver. And there's another marking on the back too. 925 and something else I can't make out right now. Those are very pretty. So abalone. And there are two of them, which is always nice. <laughs> In the jewelry jars, you don't always get two. So do you, any of you guys sell too? What platforms do you sell on? So it's good to know. I'm kinda kinda scared to start out, but just gotta jump in, I suppose. These ones are not marked, so I think they're just, you know, fashion, fashion earrings. But again, they're turquoise color and screw backs, which is funny because they didn't look that old to me. But I thought they were cute. Offer up. How how does how is that one working? That's like a local one, right? I haven't really heard much about that platform. And then this one has little tiny turquoises. It's kind of funny how I found two turquoise lots. Um, and this doesn't look to me to be sometimes you find the liquid silver and I don't think this is 
I knew what you meant, Carol. I like that this person put this much effort in such a small sale. And this is one of the things that I saw that I thought was nice was this bracelet. It doesn't seem to be marked anywhere, but I will show you the back. So that, I thought that was nice. I think there might, might have been something connecting these. I don't know. Local app like a modern Craigslist. Do people not sell on Craigslist anymore? So it's got detail all the way around it. I thought this one was kind of nice. I don't think that's even even a real stone, though. I think that's plastic, too. But it's dainty. It's cute. Yeah, that's true. Like a leather tie. That would actually be pretty cute. Oh, yeah. Totally costume. But... That's cute. It's interesting because all of these seem to have had like a mix of, of costume and real silver in them. And then I think this is the last one. <laughs> Young, younger kids like apps, old folks like Craigslist. Well, then who likes Facebook? Facebook Marketplace. So these must have broken off of the earrings. I would imagine that's what they were. But they are pretty. They look old, like old Native American. Um, and that's how they would have attached to the earrings. It looks like coral and like puka shells. It kind of looks like real turquoise to me. Those are neat. So this is something I could easily fix and put back on some earrings and wear with some of the jewelry that my, my grandmother, well, my aunt gave me. So that was the last thing that was in there. So... I got 50 cents back too. <laughs> so this one was like $13. So for $13, I don't think I don't think this was bad at all or the other one. And these ones are so pretty. I like these ones. These earrings. See they'll even look nice and I have a lot of abalone jewelry just because I really like it. Uh-oh, Bonnie. What's up? I just dropped something. Yeah. Yeah, Facebook is easy. And which bangle? The this one? Inside of the clasp? I'm assuming you mean this one. Inside here? Like underneath? It was part packaged nicely, wasn't it? Like, I love this. This lady, she's one of those people I would put on, like, a favorite buying. I need to find out. In the tongue, you mean, like, this part, right? The tongue? Yeah, I don't see anything, and it's surprising me because I'm pretty sure this is silver. My eyes aren't that bad. Let's see. Let's see, that's the outside. There's nothing there, and then the inside. That's probably not very helpful. It didn't want to focus there.
but it smells like silver and it looks like silver. I don't have my magnet with me, but I am I'm I'm pretty sure it would be. I'm gonna have to take my loop like all over this because I'm I mean I would agree I I think you would agree, right, Bonnie? This definitely looks like it's silver. Yeah, it will. I'll have to do uh, do one with my loop, one of the pictures with my loops um, on the tongue and throughout it too. Because it's, you know, it's got the safety chain and this one too, which you don't usually see on just regular costume jewelry. So yeah, this one no, this one yes. And these ones were too. So and these these are nice. They'll match some of the the um, bracelets that I have. Thanks, Carol. Carol, you need to tell my husband he should open it on camera. <laughs> so, because he doesn't know which one. I don't. I don't remember if I told him which one I picked. Because I think I showed him the ones. You got a nice. You got a really nice lot of cat pins there. Um, my husband's always looking online for them, and it's hard to find a good deal. So, yeah, double safety clasp. So they really don't want you to lose this. So I don't know. And it, you know, it doesn't seem to be that that um, misshapen because sometimes these ones can be really dinged up. You know, my mother wears hers all the time, so they're all like not actually round anymore so i don't know i definitely thought this was worth it but i look for these lots all the time on ebay and um i think i just got lucky when i got this and the art deco lot so grab me a magnet jimmy <laughs> My husband's working, walking around, so I'm gonna make him get me stuff. A strong magnet. Yeah, it's not magnetic. I know it, that doesn't mean much, but ice <laughs> my husband found something about this ice test where if you put ice on silver, it melts quicker than if it would on just on nothing. Where does he wear his cat prints? He wears them to work. And the parties. And the parties. And he'll wear it like just like a regular brooch. We call them bro watches. So <laughs> he just wears them all the time to work Hot and everything. Night. And uh, so if he doesn't wear them to work, sometimes they, they get upset. Did you wear one today, Jimmy? No. You don't wear one today. I start for the new year, though. Yeah. Yeah, he does wear them. It's not something he just collects. He actually wears them. So, well, I hope that it gets a little warmer out and it looks like it stopped snowing, but it's really the wind that is the worst part rather than the snow. So hopefully everything, everything works out well. So does anyone have any thoughts on anything else or... I can let you guys go. I do appreciate you stopping in and unboxing these with me. I agree this lady did such a cute job. I'm going to have to put her on like my favorites list. So, all right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.